Hello students. So today we are going to learn about how to install XAM and run our first PHP program, right? So let us start. So go to your favorite browser and just type in there XAM. X A M double P P XAM. Now actually, why do we need this XAM? So this has been created by Apache friends. So when you want to run the PHP programs, okay. So you need basically three things. First is the PHP parser. Then you need a web server, and the third is your MySQL database. So instead of installing each of these three components one by one, so this Apache friends has bundled them together in a software which is freeware that is a XAMPP. So what basically we are doing is doing is that we are downloading the XAM and then we will just directly install it and then we will configure it to run our PHP programs. So here, as you can see, XAM is available for Windows, Linux, or your Mac operating system. So depending on your system, just go to the versions so here say suppose this is the latest version so i'll directly download it for 64 bit as my operating system is windows 10 so this may take a while depending on your internet speed so let us wait for a while now our xamp has been downloaded successfully just click on the xamp and the installation process will start. So let us go through all the different steps of installing XAMPP. So it will ask first permission. So I'll keep the defaults as they are and the destination folder as C XAM. If you want to install it to some other directory that is also okay but I will keep with the defaults. My default language is English so I'll keep it then next. So we have finished it. So now let us start with our control panel now. So finish. So first time when you run the program, you have to configure it. So see, this is the control panel. So see here, you can start these many services. Now for our purpose, I'm only interested in running the Apache to run the basic PHP programs. So I'll just click on start and see now my Apache web server has been started. Right. So this is all regarding the control panel. Now I will show you where exactly you have to save your files and how to run the PHP programs. Right. So when you start this Apache web server, so what you can do is that let us minimize this and just click on this and enter here local host. Okay. So if your Apache server has running successfully, then this local host will take you to this. Right. Now let, now let us go to the XAM folder that we have created on the C drive. So let us go to C drive. Here you can see the XAMPP folder. Okay. So within this XAMPP file, you can see there are so many folders. So to just to run the basic PHP programs, what you have to do is that go to htdocs folder. Okay. And then say suppose I want to save all my PHP files 
within one particular folder right so say suppose i will create one folder called as php lessons right then just enter now within this particular folder i can create my take the php files you can use any editor so for our purpose i will be using the notepad editor okay so i'll click on this you can use notepad you can use uh, uh, sublime text you can use uh, netbeans you can use any editor so here uh, now let us create one sample simple php program known as the php hello world so see here this php script starts with this less than symbol and question mark okay php and then say suppose i just want to display a simple hello world message okay so i'll be using the echo command and remember in php every statement ends with this say this semicolon okay i'll just show you here and then end it with question mark and greater than symbol right and where you have to save this file in our php lessons okay so let us go to that uh, c drive xam folder ht docs and php lessons so here i'll type here hello world and remember you have to put the extension php now if you don't know how to install this notepad plus plus i have already created one tutorial based on that you can see that so here we can search for the php here yeah. okay save now see the advantage of using notepad plus plus the syntax are highlighted right so we have created this file now let us run this file go to your browser and here after local host just type the name of your folder and the name of your file So see here, hello world is printed. So what was my small mistake? I have just given a space after this question mark. So this is how you can run your PHP program.